My parents never had any money, but they were very loving. I hated them both. Sakio is an interesting character among the list of bad guys in Yu Yu Hakusho, but for different reasons than you might think. He serves benefactor to Team Tagoro and being a wealthy puppet master, pulling the strings during the Dark Tournament arc. There's an art to his character, blending in seamlessly with both humans and demons, hanging around demons as if he is one of them but portraying himself as though he's above them. It's surprising that in a series of demons and spiritual power, an ordinary human managed to cause the most disastrous chain of events. Before his appearance in Yu Yu Hakusho, Sakyu comes from an average background with his parents just being your typical white collar workers. He grew to hate his family as they were just average people and went along with society's rules. He was born a psychopath and the resentment towards his parents resulted in him getting more and more unhinged. Eventually getting a job at a pet store where he would have access to animals in order to experiment on them. Even mentioning dissecting humans. Think Dr. Mengele, basically. His sociopathy would eventually lead him to use his ruthless mindset in business and earn money through gambling, cheating the system, and eventually founding the Black Black Club. Which after these events, we would later discover during the chapter Black Art, where we would be introduced to Sakya going into the Dark Tournament arc. During the Dark Tournament arc, he's overshadowed by younger Tagoro, often being seen with him. Despite this and given younger Tagoro's actions undermining Sakya, in a sense, he is the main antagonist during the Dark Termine arc. While Tagoro does evil things, there was always an underlying plan to reverse his choice or to undermine those who are evil around him. Even as early as we see him during the events surrounding rescuing Yukina, reappearing after his fight with Yusuke and Kuobara to kick off Tarakane's head, who was the founder of the Black Black Club. Whereas Sakya was just straight up born a psychopath, simply wanting and willing to destroy everything even at the cost of his own life. This plan was so extreme it was rejected even by the Black Black Club, the organization which would open up a small portal to the demon world, capture and slave trade low class and peaceful demons for high prices. They went as far as trying to have him killed, but this obviously felt as younger Tagoro swiftly acted and killed most of them in return. Sakyo being an up and coming member in the organization, serving as the founder of this very slave train. The Black Black Club helped the Feast of Human Vices, the very event that led Sensui down his problematic path and drove him to massacre everyone there minus the absent members, which included Sakyo. Sakyo's betting peaked around the Dark Tournament arc, coming to an agreement with Koenma that the owner of the losing team would die. Sakyo's ruthlessness being put on full display when a girl begins to absorb souls in the area sealing the gates and preventing people from leaving, stating that their tickets are worth more than their lives, while also going out with the bang, blowing himself up in the arena, keeping his deal with Koenma in a roundabout way. Sakyo's pure evil was unmatched by pretty much everyone in Yu Yu Hakusho. Though the sociopathy and the power of money had got him to where he was, the demons and the people he's messing with would eventually lead to his own downfall. The relationship with Shizuru is basically an anime-only thing, with some people saying that the manga only slightly implies that there could be a romance between the two. There isn't really a known reason for it, but you can make some assumptions and try to piece it together. Sakya saved her from a run-in with demons, helping her escape from those chasing her. In regards to her being upset over his death, Sakya might have been the or one of the first people she met that she felt the real connection to. There were short relationships still causing her intense grief. Considering she's in her early 20s and she didn't know his entire sketchy past, it's sort of easy to understand why she'd be sad, while not agreeing with the actions he took and thought she could fix him, convincing him to live a normal, peaceful life. Obviously, this is all head canon, but the entire thing didn't even happen in the manga to begin with, so take it as you will. It's sort of pointless and doesn't bother me personally. Sakyo is an interesting character and shows how you can make a background antagonist interesting or valuable to the plot, tying all the way back into things in the Spirit Detective Sangha, while his actions really came to a head after his death in the chapter Black Sangha, inadvertently creating the likes of what since we would become. Only a born psychopath and evil like Sakyo could drive the plot throughout a Yu Yu Hakusho, List of the problems Yusuke would face originating within an ordinary human just like anyone else. 
stating himself that his character wasn't derived from any tragic event, but that it was simply his choice, lending more credence to Sensui's reasoning and motives, or at least his trauma stemming from the side of humans being more depraved than any demon could ever be. The irony calling to the prior mentioned fact that Sakya stands with the likes of someone like Elder Tagoro Karasu, who was once human himself. This could be a reason why younger Tagoro never really forgave himself for the crimes he committed as a demon. While spending a lot of time with the likes of Sakyo, a true psychopath that would harm animals for no motive other than enjoyment, it must have been hard for someone who already blamed himself for everything to think of himself in a positive light. The two seem to have some degree of respect for each other despite their different views and motivations. Sakyo even not speaking or feeling negatively of Tagoro even in death only having respect for him. <laughs>